And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go, a process man am I, and I'm telling you no lie. I work and breathe among the fumes that trail across the sky. There's thunder all around me and there's poison in the air. There's a lousy smell that smacks of hell and dust all in me hair. And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go, I work among the spitters and I breathe the oily smoke. Shoveled up the gypsum and a nion makes you choke. I stood knee deep in cyanide, got sick with a caustic burn. Been working rough, I've seen enough to make your stomach turn. And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go, there's overtime and bonus opportunities galore. The young men like their money and they all come back for more. But soon you're knocking on and you look older than you should. For every bob made on the job, you pay with flesh and blood. And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go, a process man am I, and I'm telling you no lie. I work and breathe among the fumes that trail across the sky. There's thunder all around me, and there's poison in the air. There's a lousy smell that smacks of hell and dust all in me hair. And it's go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go, boys, go. They'll time your every breath. And every day you're in this place, you're two days nearer death. But you go. The Chemical Workers song. So before we were starting our first set, there was some conversation about how many people had come from where and who had come how far. And I think that I heard the furthest drive to get here tonight at 200 plus miles. Is there anybody who can beat that? Yeah, can you imagine anyone being dumb enough to drive like that? Oh, oh. So, where, where, where are you, Dave? Okay, and David, where did you come from? Cape Cod, I want to advertise too. Cape Cod, okay. Um, I saw him last week, you know, at the... Uh Parting service. And I said to her, I'm sure I'm going to make it because my mom's in the hospital. Got to be on the cave. But we'll see. I'll make it there by halfway, by half time. So I did. Aww. And, uh, how many shows have I seen? Or how many shows have I missed? I think you missed two. Yes, right. In, in like 20 years. <laughs> I, go, I go farthest back with Paul and I go back with Eric a bit too. Um, but uh, as by way of an advertisement for a company I love, uh, I brought them something. It's sitting on next to them on that little shelf. <laughs> Two items from the oldest glass blowing company in America. Cool. Uh, that's enough of a tantalizing thing. You can go see what it is. Can't, oh, yeah. We can't look yet? <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> so, given that you came all the way from Cape Cod, um, th this wasn't part of our set list. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> No changes. <laughs> well, well, well th those of you who, who have followed us over the years know that there's always changes. And, and so I'm going to do a, a song that we have done on the schooner Amistad that we've done while raising the anchor. It, it's a, a windlass shanty. And the windlass is like an old style railroad hand car where you push down on one side and the other side and it cranks up the anchor or whatever you're moving. So let me just give you some math. Uh, let's say just for the sake of simplicity that you put out a hundred feet of chain. Now there's a 500 pound anchor on the end and each link of chain weighs one pound. So how much weight are you moving when you're working the windlass? Anyone want to take a guess? How long is the chain? We're gonna, we're gonna call it a hundred feet just for, for the sake of simplicity. 
though you actually measure chain in shots, and a shot is 90 feet, but I won't do that to anybody's math brain. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you got one shot and 10 feet extra out. Um, so how much weight are you moving as you're, as you're doing? 600. No, you're moving the weight of the schooner. Because you're moving the boat to the anchor. And so you're doing this all with muscle. And so the shanties are what keep the crew working together in a proper rhythm. And there's always a call and response to the shanty. And so your response is heave away, haul away, and then we're bound away to Australia. No, it's not. I'm doing the wrong one. You're doing the wrong one. <laughs> there are two very, very similar shanties. It's heave away, heave away. We're bound for Australia. Let's see if you're right. I'm confused. Pretty close. So, Cape Cod girls ain't got no combs. Heave away, heave away. They comb their hair with codfish bones. Heave away, heave away, heave away. My bully bully boys, heave away, heave away, heave away. Now don't you make some noise? We're bound for Australia. Cape. <laughs> yes. The Oh, why? Oh, you know, we, we could in fact do that. Oh, why? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to repress that still. So. Cape Cod moms don't bake no pies. Heave away, heave away. They feed their children codfish eyes. Heave away, heave away, heave away. My bully bully boys, heave away, heave away. Heave away, now don't you make some noise, we're bound for Australia. Cape Cod boys ain't got no sleds, heave away, heave away. They slide down hills on codfish heads, heave away, heave away, heave away. My bully bully boys, heave away, heave away, heave away. Now don't you make some noise, we're bound for Australia. Cape Cod girls ain't got no combs, heave away, heave away. They comb their hair with codfish bones, heave away, heave away, heave away. My bully bully boys, heave away, heave away, heave away. Now don't you make some noise, we're bound for Australia. Cape Cod ducks ain't got no pills, heave away, heave away. They feed their patients codfish gills, heave away, heave away, heave away. Now bully bully boys, heave away, heave away, heave away. Now don't you make some noise, we're bound for Australia. Cape Cod cats ain't got no tails, heave away, heave away. They all blew off in them Cape Cod gales, heave away, heave away, heave away. My bully bully boys, heave away, heave away, heave away. Now don't you make some noise, we're bound for Australia. We drive all the way from Cape Cod. You need a hat. I do need a hat. <laughs> an instrument too, probably. What do I need? I don't know. Are we doing that, that one that we were going to toss in? Oh, yeah. Unlike the other one we just tossed in. <laughs> Since we've been playing together for the last 20 years, we had to deal with the fact that we both started off with, well, actually, I didn't start off with a very small child at all. <laughs> I started off with no child. But uh, over the years, as our children grew up, we did a lot of children's songs. And mm -hmm. since we have a, a younger contingent over here, I uh, would like to do one that's also not in our set list. Uh, this one is written by Theodore Geisel. And uh, perhaps some of you recognize Theodore Geisel, also known as Dr. Seuss. Um, it was originally written about Uncle Terwilliger, though it became Uncle Walter because it's more singable. <laughs> And no, we haven't rehearsed this. I went to his room in the middle of the night. I tipped home inside and I turned on the light. But to my surprise, he was nowhere inside. My uncle Walter, no 
angels dancing at night. He goes wah 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 waltzing with bears, raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too. But there's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do. So he go waltzing, wah 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 waltzing. So he go waltzing, waltzing with bears. We told Uncle Walter that he should be good and do all the things that we said he should. But we know that he'd rather be out in the woods. We're afraid he might lose Uncle Walter for good. He goes wah 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 waltzing with bears, raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too. When there's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do. So he grew waltzing, wah 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 waltzing. So he grew waltzing, waltzing with bears. We bought Uncle Walter a new coat to wear, but when he comes home, it's all covered in hair. And lately, I've noticed there's several new tears. I'm sure Uncle Walter is dancing with bears. He goes wah 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 waltzing with bears, raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too. But there's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do. So he go waltzing, wah 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 waltzing. So he go waltzing, waltzing with bears. We begged and we pleaded, oh please won't you stay? We managed to keep him at home for a day. But the bears all marched in and they took him away. Now he's dancing with pandas and he can't understand us. And the bears all demand at least one, two, three. Dances a day. Again. <laughs> so, uh, we, we've said about, you know, people coming from a distance uh, to get here tonight. Uh, this is a song about the people who came a distance to come here, uh, namely to this particular continent. Uh, folks came from all over the place. Some came by choice, some came because they were driven to it by economic need, some came because they were Sailors. picked up and carried, and they didn't want to come at all. But uh, this, this particular is, song, this particular song is a song that uh, was collected at the Sailor's Retirement Home on Staten Island, and it has become a very popular one uh, with a lot of Irish groups, and I, I am capoed for just because it says that I'm supposed to be, just so you know you're going to capo too. Uh, <laughs> it's just better that way. Uh, but this is a song that uh, you might have learned if you saw the movie Titanic, Leaving a Liverpool. Oh, 
him to, to uh, make as many instrument changes as possible. How am I doing? <laughs> You're doing great, Eric. <laughs> A number of years ago, uh, Paul and I were invited to play at the New England Conference on Mission, which was a, uh, I guess, semi-annual conference that was held up at Geneva Point Conference Center in New Hampshire. And uh, the previous conference, the keynote speaker, or actually his keynote singer, I guess, uh, had been Bill Staines, who is one of the great contemporary singer-songwriters. I mean, mm. yeah. you, you all know him as the guy who wrote All, God, all God's Critters Got a Place in the Choir? Yep. Um, your grandmother really did not teach you that song. <laughs> it or just she may have, but she, but she did it Bill recently. Staines, yeah. Uh, so, you know, it, it takes gall to come in after Bill Staines has been the presenter and write an original song. And I have that kind of gall. <laughs> he does. So here it is. Lifting up to heaven, God's great work is 
yours and mine. When the word calls for the strength of muscles, or ideas to be shared upon the page, there's a world of help and blessing in the fingers. Seek redeeming redemption to our aid. Forgive us hands. Our attack, keep the bees together. Hands that join the beat and tie. Voices lifted up to heaven. God's great work is yours and mine. Then let the voice be heard That also repeats again the story Of God's love alive in the world Forgive us voices Hearts that keep the beat together Hands that join the beat the time Voices in the story and setting the people free hearts and voices hearts and voices hearts that keep the beat together hands that join the beat of time voices lifted up to heaven God's great work is yours and Pardon me, another instrument change. <laughs> so, last Sunday we had a conference-wide send-off for Eric, who's running away because he's smart. And getting water because he's even smarter. And so at the, uh, the send-off, I uh, performed a quick change, moving from clericals to what you see tonight uh, with the Hawaiian shirt and the leg. Uh, you can, in fact, see it if you check out the conference website and the Facebook feed and all of that, or at least little bits of it. But uh, I've been talking with Eric just a week or so before that about ukuleles, thinking that I might <clears throat> buy you one. And, and then he informed me that uh, he has other plans, the, the guy. That someone else gave him a little starter uke that he's learning on, and I was only going to get him a starter uke. I wasn't going to get him one of the really great ones. I love you, dude, but, you know. <laughs> and so, in all of this conversation and getting ready to send Eric off to Hawaii, I figured I needed to at least be able to send him off with a song on ukulele. So I do not play ukulele. Do not hold this against me, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not on tape yet. We, we, <laughs> ah, let me get there. Three. 
dreams that you dream of once in a lullaby. Oh, somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly, and the dreams that you dream of dreams really do come true. Someday I wish upon a star, wake up where the clouds are far behind. Be where trouble melts like lemon drops, high above the chimney top, that's where you'll find me of somewhere. I see trees of green and red roses too I watch them bloom for me and you And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue I see clouds of white the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I, I love you. I hear babies cry and I watch them grow. They learn much more than we'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Someday I wish upon a star. Wake up where the clouds are far behind me, he, he, Where trouble melts like lemon drops High above the chimney top That's where you'll find me Or somewhere over the rainbow Way up high And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Eric couldn't hear that last Sunday because part of the <laughs> shtick was that while I was dressing down into the Hawaiian, I had him dressing up into New England snow shoveling. And so he had on a furry hat and a hood. And, oh, anyway, I promise not to do that to him again. Which are you playing? <laughs> Not quite up to playing two guitars at the same time. <laughs> well, so long as you play one behind your back, it should be easy. <laughs> this is an old song of mine, um, and uh, it's probably our favorite. It's one of my favorite songs, period. So, which I like a lot of songs. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Broken Back Flat Car. Right in the rails to the 
city along the Connecticut shore. I passed by the backs of those strip malls that I'd seen so often before. When amidst those cathedrals of retail, whose confidence gleamed in the sun, a sight flashed itself on my memory. Though gone just as it had begun, just a broken back flat car collapsed on the rails behind a derelict factory. Relics of industries failed, fled and gone. Mills working silver and wool. Once that old factory was humming, and along all the streams of the state, men gathered fibers and minerals. And with labor they earned what they ate And the rails sank with comings and goings To take finished goods to the stores That kept all the great mill wheels turning And kept hunger's wrath from the door now a broken back flat cars collapsed on the rails behind a derelict factory. Relics of industries failed, fled and gone. Mills working wire, brass and thread. And the skies were blackened by coal smoke and the rivers ran poison in flood and the great wheels were tended by children who oiled the machinery with their blood now the factory stands in mute witness to its industry's glory and shame the work gone to North Carolina, where capital thrives just the same. And on across sea lanes and borders, to ever new women and men, while the gold piles high in the mansions, and you and I ask once again, are we broken back flat cars collapsed on the rails behind the derelict factory? Relics of industries failed, fled and gone. Or hard working women and men? Are we broken back flat cars collapsed on the rails? Behind the derelict factory, mere relics of industries failed, fled and gone. Poor hard-working women and men. So, I know that we have a lot of church folks in the room tonight. A lot of you have been uh, in Sunday school and church all of your lives. You've learned the stories. And I, I remember when, when Kimberly was pregnant with Ian, and all of the, the church folks, knowing that we were expecting a baby, decided that they had to give us gifts. Right, because that's what you do when your pastor and his wife are expecting a child. And so we got like Noah's Ark curtains and Noah's Ark 
crib set and the Noah's Ark plush toys and we got the, the Noah's Ark carpet and we got the Noah's Ark. It's, it's like the only story there is and, and people feel like they have to get the Noah's Ark stuff for every preacher's kid ever born. And it was several years later when Ian was about four o'clock, yes, when Ian was about four o'clock, <laughs> we were at, at the church I was serving in Pennsylvania, and he came out of Sunday school and said, Daddy, Daddy, guess what we learned about in Sunday school? And I said, I don't know, Ian, what did you learn about? And he said, we learned a story about Noah and the ark and how Noah built a great big boat and how he got two of all of the animals and he got them on the boat. When the water came, it floated and then they were all safe. And he said, but Daddy, that's not really what the story is about, is it? It's really that God kills everybody, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm thinking, he's four. <laughs> he picked up on the, the, the flood, drowning absolutely everybody, but this one guy and his family and a couple critters. Um, and so, with that... No, no, not a couple of critters, critter couples. Yes, yes. Except for unicorns. We're not going to sing that song. <laughs> You're welcome. No, th this, this is in fact the, the true story of Noah's Ark. Uh, we learned this from Dave Van Ronk, and I have no idea where it actually originated. But this is, hey, Mr. Noah. Hey, Mr. Noah. Hey, Mr. Noah. May I take a ride in the ark of the Lord? Cause it's getting mighty dark. Gonna rain mighty hard. Doodly do. Doodly do. Doodly 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 do. Oh, no, you can't, sir. Oh, no, you can't, sir. You may not ride in the ark of the Lord, though it's getting mighty dark. Gonna rain mighty hard. Doodly do. Go to the devil, sir. We'll go to the devil, sir. You can go to the devil in your darn old scow, cause you know darn well it won't rain anyhow. Doodly do, doodly do, doodly 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 do. Now listen, young feller. Now listen, young feller. That's the bluff of your life, cause you know darn well that it's sprinkling now. Gonna rain like hell, doodly do, doodly do, doodly 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 do. Hey, Mr. Noah. Oh, no, you can't, sir. Hey, Mr. Noah. Oh, no, you can't, sir. May hey, I take I'm a ride in the ark of the Lord? Cause it's getting mighty dark. Gonna rain mighty hard, doodly do. So I think it's been mentioned that I'm moving somewhere, and uh, well, this song has been uh, it has been in the back of my brain for some time now, and moved into the middle of my brain, and finally this afternoon I got it in the front of my brain. So this I think qualifies as a world premiere. Nobody else has heard it but me. 
Uh, if the tune seems to change halfway through, well, it's the, uh, that's the uh, folk process. <laughs> I was born in the vale of a long tidal river When in ancient days the sea left its sands upon the floor the Eons of earth compressed the sand to stone and the quarries of the brownstone they built Boston and New York. I now fly to the shore of a young volcanic island where the lava still emerges to claim land from the sea in a tropical ocean where the early trade winds make the rain to fall and the palm trees to grow from the hills of New England to the peaks of Hawaii from the friends I have known to the friends I will know from all I was raised on what I Brownstone to Black Rock, from Brownstone to Black Rock. Deep in my bones are the stones of New England, family and friends, the very music of the wind. Let the muse carry over continents and oceans Join the island melodies and raise up souls to dance From the hills of New England to the peaks of Hawaii The friends I have known to the friends I will know all I was raised on to what I will discover from brownstone to black rock from brownstone to black rock I love you still New England Love your shores and forests, love the vibrant souls love that haven't reached my life. Love you, New Hawaii, Mauna Kea in the sunlight, rising in its grandeur over Hilo Bay. From the hills of New England to the peaks of Hawaii, the friends I have known to the friends I will know. From all I was raised on to what I will discover, from brownstone to black rock. This is another sing-along. 
This is a, a, a traditional English folk song that has folk processed its way around. You may know it as the Castle Hill Anthem. Um, this is not quite the Castle Hill Anthem. Join in. It was pleasant and delightful on a midsummer's morn when the green fields and the meadows were all covered in corn and the blackbirds and the thrushes sang from every green spray and the larks they sang melodious at the dawning of the day and the larks they sang melodious and the larks they sang melodious and the larks they sang melodious at the dawning of the day now a sailor and a soldier were a walking one day said the soldier to the sailor let us kneel down and pray and if we have one prayer oh may we have ten and whatever i pray for you must answer amen and whatever i pray for and whatever i pray for and whatever i pray for you must answer amen now the first thing that we'll pray for, we'll pray for some beer. Oh glory, oh glory, though it makes us feel queer. And if we have one pint, oh may we have ten. May we have a bloody brewery, said the sailor, amen. May we have a bloody brewery. May we have a bloody brewery. May we have a bloody brewery. Send the sailor, amen. Now the next thing that we'll pray for, we'll pray for some cash. Oh glory, oh glory, we'll go on a bash. And if we have one pound, oh, may we have ten. May we have the Bank of England. Said the sailor, amen. May we have the Bank of England. May we have the Bank of England. May we have the Bank of England. Said the sailor, Amen. Now the next thing that we'll pray for, we'll pray for our Queen, and for all her royal family, wherever they be seen. And if she have one son, oh may she have ten. May she have a bloody regiment. Said the sailor, Amen. May she have a bloody regiment. May she have a bloody regiment. May she have a bloody regiment. Said the sailor, Amen. Now the last thing that we'll pray for, we'll pray for some peace. From Korea to Afghanistan and from Syria to Greece. And if we have one year, oh, may we have ten. May we never have another war, said the sailor, amen. May we never have another war. May we never have another war. May we the last number on our set list. So what we could do is we could 
pack up and go. Pack up and go. <laughs> but there is this thing which we should have let you know before the song started, which it's this funny little folk tradition. If you clap real hard, <laughs> we come back and we play another one. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Never no, mind. No, no. <laughs> you know, that's the, the thing about improv. It, it doesn't always work. So this, the song that we are going to leave you with tonight, though, is uh, a heck of a song. It is. it is the first song that Eric and I ever played together. Do you want me to use this? Yes, I do. Okay. Because if you use a capo, you want me to match? I do. I so do. <laughs> So it's the first song that we ever played together. It is a song that I was learning while Ian, my son, was in utero. And when he was born, you know, you sing lullabies to babies and it quiets them down. And the lullabies didn't work. This was the only song that he would actually quiet down for. It, it's a song about a shipwreck. It is, uh, it is perhaps the happiest, most raucous song about a shipwreck um, that there is, and this song has seen us through some really yeah. <clears throat> suboptimal times, and it has reminded us that even when things are at their worst, there's hope. So this is Stan Rogers' song, The Mary Ellen Carter.
This is uh, just a quick little song from our uh, hero and mentor, Pete Seeger. Well may the world go. Swing round and round when I'm far away. Well, may the world. 